What's going on guys, it's Justin the Blockchain Technician and I'm creating this video to show you guys what ETH domains are. Um, what, it, what a domain um, on the Ethereum name service is and what it does. Uh, it's not just a, a domain name with a .eth ending like some people think, um, although it is that and it looks pretty cool when you have it, but it does so much more than that. Um, when you own this domain, you attach it to a wallet. So in the process of doing that, um, you're, you're connecting your, your Ethereum um, name service, your ENS domain name, you're connecting it to a wallet. Therefore, when somebody wants to uh, pay you, uh, or if you want to accept a donation or anything like that, all you have to do is give out your your Ethereum ENS, Ethereum name service domain name. So it's super simple. Let's say I want to do business with somebody. I'm on the street and they're like, hey man, I want to get into your project. Where do I get it? Where do I send the money? Or I want to, I want to hook up with this and I want to, I want to send you some, some crypto for this. Anybody that needs to send you cryptocurrency, if it's an ERC20 token um, and runs on the Ethereum ERC20 blockchain, at any Ethereum tokens, lands of the meta being one of them, uh, among thousands, I believe, um, any one of these tokens can be sent to my to my address. It's really just it's being sent to this address right here, this uh, FEDB1 address you see. But if you're on Coinbase, if you're on Uphold, if you're on any exchange, um, and you want to send me Ethereum, wink, wink. Uh, <laughs> All you have to do, just kidding, I'm not trying to get no handouts, guys. Uh, I'm really just making this video for educational purpose. So um, what you want to do is you're just going to type in the the ENS domain. So if, if, if somebody wants to send money to this account or if you have an account that you want to receive money at and you've purchased an ES domain like I'm going to show you how to do, all you have to do, all you have to tell somebody for your address is type in the blockchain technician .eth. Uh, I also purchased one for our project, Lands of the Meta. Uh, if we need to receive money for our project, I have a special wallet. Just tell people we can advertise landsofthemeta.eth. It's that simple. So you put that in the address bar um, when you go to send money. And as soon as you do, it's going to populate the corresponding address and uh, that's associated with it through the uh, Ethereum name service uh, protocol. So I'm now that I've explained what this is and, and that it's a lot more than just having a .eth at the end of your name, although that's pretty cool and, and, and pretty awesome, uh, I guess, for whatever reason. I know people that are just buying them for that. And it's just, there's so much more to it, guys. This is how you can receive money super easy uh, to a crypto wallet just by giving somebody a .eth name. Any ERC-20 tokens can be sent to these wallets and it's super simple go to the lands of the meta dot eth uh just type in lands of the meta dot eth into the address field when you're sending boom it's going to auto populate the address so now that i've showed you guys what this actually does and what these uh these e ens domains these uh ethernet name service domains are capable of i'm going to make a purchase with one so let's i'm gonna i'm gonna create another one and show you guys how to do it. it it gets a little techie for me the first time i did it my gas got all freaky and i had to like manually input the uh the gas so let me uh let me see here let's do the block tech all right so let's search this one it might not even be available i don't know it is available so Let's go ahead and register this one for, I've been doing them for 10 years. It's, oh God, it's so much more expensive today than it was yesterday. Yesterday it was like a hundred bucks. It's an extra $67. Let's just go to five. I don't want to risk not having enough gas to do this with and then have to redo the video because it is a pain. Once you get started, like there's a whole process to it. So my wallet's connected. Uh, first thing you're going to do is you're going to request to register. So you got to hit this request to register button. There we go. All right, it's going to ask you to approve the first gas transaction. Once you do that, you're going to hit confirm. And the first time I did this, I didn't have any problems. That went right through. It was no problem. But I'll show you the part that got a little freaky for me. And I'll show you what I did 
to fix it because I mean, it, I'm pretty good at crypto and it got super confusing for me and even hard for me to figure out what the heck was going on. So right now I'm waiting for my uh, transaction to be approved. Once it is, you'll see this bar will start ticking and it's going to, it's going to wait one minute to make sure nobody else has that name, which is weird because you think it would have already checked that. But I guess what it's doing is just making sure that nobody took that name in the time that your last transaction went through. It's the only reasoning I can think of, but needless to say, it's just going to make sure that the name is 100% available. I haven't had one not be yet, and I've done two of them already. So I'm just going to give it a minute here. Let it do its thing. Once it does, it's going to ask us to, uh, to do a third transaction or hit the third. The, it's the third step, the second transaction, I believe. Yeah. We're going to approve that, and the name will be ours. Both times that I did it, it glitched out after that and made it look like it didn't accept my thing for some reason. And then after just waiting and refreshing the page, um, my name was, was there. It was attached to the wallet it was supposed to be attached to. So, And I can access it, and I'll show you guys all that as well. All right, all right, all right. Almost there. But yeah, this is really cool, guys. Just think, if you've got a business, if you've got a brand, and you want to be able to receive crypto super easy and have a really cool uh, .eth name attached to your to your um, to your brand or your company. So, all right, so it's done. It's made it to the third step. We're going to hit register. It's going to ask me to approve another transaction, and this is where it got. Oh no, gas! Gas is just ridiculous right now. God, what am I short? 0 0.05 all right all right so we're going to stop this video for a quick second i'm going to move some funds and we're going to start back right where we left off here just one second guys right guys i am back and i should have enough funds um in my wallet now to make the to make the transaction Last time, the same thing happened to me, and I had to transfer the gas, so it might be a good thing this happened, and I can show you how to get around that weird thing when it populates a zero gas for you, because uh, that really screwed me up the first time I was doing this, and I almost didn't get it. So let's see if it does it. No, it still populates the gas, but what happened last time, guys, was when I did this, um, and I rejected the transaction like I did the last time and came back in to do this. It wouldn't populate a price and said like wouldn't give me a time, which is no good. You never want to do that because if you do, your wallet will go into limbo. It'll get stuck. The Ethereum will literally get stuck in the Ether. And then you have to pay more money to force it through. And it gets a little techy. You've got to change your custom notes on your MetaMask. And it gets it, you got to find which notes is stuck and manually type it in to force it through. It gets very complicated. So you don't want to do that. You don't want to get your Ethereum stuck. So never send through a transaction that shows a zero gas as it will get stuck. Um, but what I did was I hit this market thing here and I went into advanced and I manually inputted what I needed. I've been using Ethereum for a long time, so I know kind of the basics. Um, this this priority fee is like pretty much what you're going to pay. Um, the it's like your tip it's like what you're what you're giving the validators to to to, to do you first <laughs> and and it just makes your transaction go through a little bit faster so you really want this to be like two or below but like just check you can go to ethereum gas station ethgasstation.com uh, and you can you can check the gas prices there and, and find out what to put in but yeah i just manually put all this in i saved it and then my, my transaction went through. Look at that. I waited and I saved 90 bucks just by waiting anyway. So anyway, we're going to put this through. We're going to confirm it. Oh, no. It's probably going to go up and charge me more money. now. <laughs> no, it didn't. It's good. All right. So there we go, guys. Uh, there's the last step. I'm waiting for it to confirm. As soon as it's done with this step, it's going to let me know that I have the name. Uh, every time. I've, I've only done it twice. But the two other times that I did this with the lands of the meta um ens domain and the blockchain technician en ens domain the first two times i did this it did something weird at the end and made me think that it didn't work so let's see what it does right now um that's the cool thing about like having videos like this is like it it helps you work through all the crap that you're going to deal with like i said keep an eye out like for some reason <clears throat> it the, the first time it gave me that zero gas thing all you're going to do is you're going to go to your metamask transaction and there it is look i'm done so now 
Um, I can go in here. Wait, where are we at? No, 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 no. no. Oh, let's go here. Blockchain technician. Whoop. Just, see, it's kind of doing the same thing, I'm pretty sure. Let's go to the block tech. All right. There it is. And there it is, guys. It's connected to my wallet. You can see it. See, it kind of, it just doesn't like, it's not user friendly. It doesn't like, there's so many glitches and bumps that you have to work through to get through it. The first time it took me a good bit. Like I didn't think my transactions were going through. And like I said, I had that zero gas thing happen. I didn't do anything. I didn't change the gas. It just automatically stopped putting it in. It would not, it would not, even when I hit the advanced and, and, um, and, and went through the different um, ways to send it, it would not adjust from a zero balance. So I had to, like I said, I had to go into the, to, to the advanced tab and manually input the GUI and the, uh, the uh, priority, um, max priority and all that crap and your gas limit. It's your GUI, your max priority, and your gas limit. And you want your max priority to be about two or under. You want your GUI, you know, just go to gas, ETH gas, ETHGasStation.com, look it up and find it. Um, it'll tell you what the uh, ETH gas station. In, I'm sorry, ETHGasStation.info. Oh, see, this isn't right. Yeah, this isn't right. Something's up with these numbers. This isn't right. Don't use this. You put two GUI in, you ain't gonna get shit. Your ETH will get stuck, like, 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 definitely. <laughs> so don't use that. <clears throat> I don't know what's going on with that site, but the best thing you could do is just go to another wallet, try to send something else, but don't send it. <laughs> And then just look at what it charges you and replicate it and put it in there manually. Like I said, I just know because I've been doing it so long. I put in yesterday, I put in like 90 GUI when, when I knew it. Even like 45, 50 would have been good, but I wanted to go through. So I put like 90 GUI in. I put a 1.5 max priority. And I think I set like a $50,000 uh, max gas. But it's only going to use... Uh, what it's going to use, you know, it's only going to use what it's going to use. It's not going to, it's not going to like go in there and just rape you because you gave it all these permissions. It'll just take what it needs and that's it. Except for the max priority. That max priority is your tip to the validator and it will take every penny of that. <laughs> so just be real careful guys. Do a little bit of research before you start playing around with the advanced tab. But um, yeah, that's it guys. So now I have the block tech dot ETH. If I want to receive money into this account, any kind of ERC 20 token, all I got to do is tell you, go to the blocktech.eth, type in the blocktech.eth into the address bar when you go to send from Coinbase or any, any exchange or wallet that there is, and it will auto-populate my Ethereum address, this one right here. All right, pretty cool stuff, guys. Just wanted to show you uh, some, some new stuff. I've known about this for, for, uh, for quite a bit now, and I hadn't set it up yet. I hadn't dove into it and really started, uh, started trying to, 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 to use it and and learn how to how to how to make it work for for you know make it work for for what it was designed for and now now i have a pretty good understanding of it it's pretty awesome stuff man this crypto stuff is crazy and uh, yeah that's all i got for today guys the blockchain technician is out <laughs>